God has been poured into our hearts through the Spirit of God who, who dwells within us. Alleluia. Good afternoon and welcome to our, to our Wednesday afternoon Mass. Today we're celebrating the Feast of St. Catherine of Siena, a 14th century Dominican tertiary, a mystic, and now a doctor of the Church. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who teach us through drinking deeply of the teaching of St. Catherine, that the light of your truth surrounds us in the intimate and wondrous knowledge that we live in you and your very self lives in us. Grant us through her prayers to advance in virtue with so great a knowledge of truth that we may be able to love you and to serve you more perfectly each day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, Entering house after house and dragging out men and women, he handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip, when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you, sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land, through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy.
Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Church celebrates the memorial of St. Catherine, but because she is a Dominican, we celebrate it as a feast day. And so we have the Gloria at the beginning of Mass, and we remember the life and the works of St. Catherine, one of the more fascinating saints of the Middle Ages. She was one of the youngest, some say the 24th, and others the very youngest, the 25th, out of 25 children. She lived in the 1300s, uh, born in Siena. If you go there today, you can still see the house where she grew up, although there's not much left of the original house. They say only the fireplace and the cellar. Everything else in the house has been gradually replaced uh, over the last uh, six or seven centuries or so. And yet, that is still there for us to go and remember the life of St. Catherine. And there in the church in Siena is uh, St. Catherine's head. So you can go venerate her relic, or you can venerate the rest of her relics in the Dominican church in Rome. People, even this many hundred years later, still remember St. Catherine because of the extraordinary love for Christ that she had and the extraordinary uh, work for Christ that she did in her life. She refused to get married and lived a very penitential life, one devoted to prayer so that she could become wholeheartedly in love with Christ her Savior. And after many years as a young adult learning this way, she was called by Christ to go out into the world and perform works that he set for her. She ministered to the poor, and perhaps more famously, she became an advisor to popes and to kings, most famously convincing the Pope who was living in Avignon in France to return to live in Rome. She lived at a time of a lot of turmoil, of medical issues, plagues and such, and turmoil between people amongst different factions in the church or different kingdoms uh, in Italy. St. Catherine, throughout all of the extraordinary works she did, kept her focus on Christ. She won many people to the imitation of her way of life, forming an order of penance. Both men and women came to follow her to imitate her life of prayer and asceticism, such that they called her mother. And St. Catherine, on her deathbed, gave herself over to instructing and encouraging these spiritual children of hers, urging them on to love for one another and to love for Christ. And so we remember all of the many graces God granted to Catherine the wonders of her life, and the ways that he still instructs his church through her. There's, I think, Pope Paul VI that made Catherine a doctrine of the church, calling us to turn with care and attention to the mystical dialogues of Catherine, the great work of uh, spiritual mysticism called the dialogue, about the conversation between Christ and her soul. And so we look to her for inspiration even today, that with her we might thirst for Christ, might seek him always, the bread of life, the one who will keep us from everlasting death.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to, to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We praise you in memory of the Holy Virgin and Dr. Catherine, to whom you gave the knowledge of the unsearchable mysteries of your life, and whom you inflamed with an ever greater love for your church. For she contemplated you in constant prayer, and ardently cried out for the restoration of unity out of discord. Ever obedient and humble, she begged the Church of Christ, mindful of her duty, to live always as a faithful bride of Christ, to be, pre to be presented without spot or wrinkle at the end of time. And so, with the Church and the whole company of angels and saints, we celebrate your glory with exultation, crying out with one voice, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you with thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Catherine and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. 
May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Leonard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For anyone who drinks it, says the Lord, the water I shall give will become in him a spring welling up to eternal life. We now have an act of spiritual communion, which all of you watching from home can pray along with. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.